Oh yeah, friends and fam. Welcome back to another episode of Camp Coastal Outdoors with yours truly. Today, we are doing a little why and how to catch and cook. How to make jalapeno dove poppers. So you guys watched us smack a limited doves the other day. And when it comes to how to prepare a dove, you've probably seen this recipe in magazines. You've probably read about it online. You might've even had somebody who's into the dove hunting themselves tell you about this. This recipe is super simple super delicious and we're gonna make a pile of jalapeno poppers and I'm gonna show you how to do it. We got 15 doves plus I actually went out on another hunt and I shot five doves and we're just gonna turn the whole pile into jalapeno poppers. Why not? They're delicious, they're easy to make, it'll take about 30 minutes to prepare them and they're so tasty. So let me show you what we're working with here. So in order to prepare our dove poppers, we need all the ingredients, which is actually super simple. These are so easy to make. You need a limit, 15 dove breasts for this recipe. I have 20 doves worth here because there's two hunts worth of breast meat here. You need a couple packages of bacon. You need cream cheese. You need fresh jalapeno peppers that you can get from the store or maybe from your garden because now is about the time of year where garden harvests are being picked. And then you need toothpicks. In addition, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees and you're going to want to have a cookie sheet with some foil that I spray with some no stick cooking spray. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your package of bacon and you're going to want to get a single strip out. A single strip of bacon will make two poppers. So once we get the bacon out of the package, we're actually going to take one piece and cut it into halves. Once you have a piece of bacon, you're gonna throw a dove breast right in the center of it. So once you have your dove on your bacon, you're gonna take one thin slice of jalapeno and you're gonna lay that baby right on top of the dove, just like that. Then. You're gonna take a little bit of cream cheese, just like a half teaspoon or whatever, and you're gonna put it right on the jalapeno. Then you're gonna wrap the bacon over top of what you've done here and stick a toothpick through it so it holds together. And boom, that's a popper. And then we'll set that on the sheet. And basically what it comes down to is making as many of these poppers as you think you're gonna eat or you're gonna share with your friends. And we're making the whole lot. So we're just gonna get after it. So the thing about Dove is the meat, as you might notice, is not like a chicken. It's not like poultry. It's not white meat. It's actually red meat. And the reason for that is that you think about these birds and the way they live their life. They are flying continuously. So they have a lot of blood in their breast muscle in order to keep oxygen to their breast, in order to keep cellular respiration going, keeping them energized and allowing them to keep flying. And sometimes doves will migrate over a hundred miles to get to a food source that they are, have otherwise been waiting to exploit due to winter conditions forcing them there. So in that case, in that situation, it requires a lot of blood, a lot of oxygen flow throughout the body of these birds to be pretty athletic. As for cooking them, what that ends up meaning is that these birds cook more like a mammal, like a deer or venison than they do like an actual bird. And the one thing about red meat in birds, such as pheasants, doves, geese, ducks, bacon brings out the best of them.
And there we go. We got our doves all fit on one cookie sheet, which was a miracle in itself. Now we're gonna stick this thing back here in the oven for 25 minutes. Ooh, that's so you wanna make sure that these things sit in here for that 25 minutes, but if nothing else, make sure that the bacon is crispy before you pull them out. That will help ensure that the dove, which actually will cook faster than the bacon, is cooked thoroughly. The thing about game birds, pheasants, doves, waterfowl, they have very, very little fat integrated with the meat itself. Now, waterfowl can be a little bit oily because they produce oil to keep their feathers waterproof, which leaches out of their skin, but doves are absolutely fatless, and that means that they will cook very fast. So the bacon grease actually acts like fat in order to slow the cook of the meat down or at high temperatures, but it will keep that meat saturated and allow it to cook at a slower, more thorough pace so it doesn't burn, but you get good flavor at the end of it. It's time to take these delicious dovelets out of the oven and gobble them up. Oh yeah, that's a good smell right there, boys and girls. Oh my, oh yeah, that's it. We're gonna blot those babies off on those paper towels right over here. And then we'll dine in, so let's get that finished so we can eat them. Y'all, check out these delicious dove niblets. Oh my goodness. This is going to be good eats. So I'm going to play the total savage role. I'm just going to eat them straight off this tray. You're supposed to serve these piping hot. And this is piping hot. They don't get much fresher than this. So, got ourselves a little dovelet here. Fresh from the field to the table. First bite. That's a victory right there, fellas. That's how you know you won the game. Those are bitey too, those jalapenos are bitey. Thank you for tuning in to this Captain McCoslaw episode. I'm gonna crush about a fifth of these right now. Like and subscribe if you liked this recipe and you wanna see more Catch and Cooks, feel the table to my gullet. Until next time, fellas. Ooh, that is hot. I'm gonna need to get, oh my. Hold the phone, he needs some milk. Shoot straight, stay strong, that's it. I need some leche in my life, oh my. Oh, that's so much better, peace.